person a 1.3. So we are given a budget. Uh, and also we are given an income and expenditure statement. Uh, so going down, uh, you see that uh, you also have uh, our question part where we to use the budget uh, income and expenditure statement to answer the following questions. So uh, on the first part, determine the fixed costs and calculate their total. So we have got five marks on that part. So we are able to identify the fixed cost that we are given uh, in the uh, uh, in the budget that we have there. And of course, uh, we are having the budget on this side. So uh, we try to see which fixed costs uh, do we have according to information uh, that we are given. So fixed costs are those costs do, that do not change uh, from period to period. Uh, so if you look at uh, the information given, you would see that if you talk, if you talk about rent, uh, rent doesn't uh, change uh, from one period to the other. It remains the same. Uh, and uh, that's why uh, they are called fixed costs. So we also have car repayment uh, here as a fixed cost and also we've got insurance as a fixed cost. So uh, uh, we need to uh, calculate their total as indicated in the, uh, in the question part. So we're going to add them. Uh, we had eight thousand plus seven thousand plus uh, nine hundred to get uh, the uh, the total. We are going to see our eight or eight thousand uh is indicated uh is our rent and then our car repayment is seven thousand. And then from car repayment we are supposed to get our insurance is nine hundred. So if you get uh, the total that you are supposed to get is a fifty thousand eight hundred. So you get your total is fifty thousand eight hundred, right? So basically, uh, that's our total of fixed uh, cost. So basically, I say this is our total, uh, total of fixed cost is fifty thousand eight hundred, right? So we want to add uh, the next part of our question uh, that is one point three point two. Where it reads, uh, which item under the income and expenditure statement is occasional? So occasional, uh, this is a not, not a regular uh, item uh, that we don't see from period to period. Uh, that only occurs uh, in a period and then maybe occurs after a certain time of time. A certain, uh, a certain time. So we have uh, uh, the expenditure part and the income part. We're trying to see which one is occasional. So if you check there. Uh, we have a repairing a broken car that we have here as indicating an occasional item. So we have a repairing a broken car as indicated here. So we are saying uh, on one point, uh, 1.3.2. Uh, we are saying repairing. A broken car. So basically, that's what we have on that part. And moving on uh, to uh, the next question that we have to uh, read, uh, uh, Lufuno says that uh, variable uh, cost is excluding uh, medical aid make no less than 12.98% uh, uh, of total budget uh, income. Use your uh, calculation to show that uh, he is correct. So we need to identify the variable. Uh, the variable cost is indicated. Uh, variable costs uh, is indicated in the budget. So uh, we go to the budget and try to see, uh, but of course uh, we are not going to include our medical aid. Uh, we are not going to uh, include our medical aid. Uh, that, uh, that is as indicated in the question. So it means uh, if you come to the budget section, which is uh, this section that we have here, uh, we are not going to uh, take note of uh, the budget. So we can just maybe remove it. Uh, we have uh, the medical aid that we have uh, is uh, not going to be included. So it means uh, we are only going to take into account the uh, food, which is 2392. We take note of uh, water and electricity. Uh, we take note of uh, entertainment. Uh, we also take note of uh, uh, petrol. And uh, obviously, savings is not, going, not going to be part of our variable cost. So uh, we add uh, 2392.
redu eight hour eight hundred and sixty for water electricity. Then we add the 1,500 in our 2,000. So the total that you are going to get there, I will divide it by. Uh, we try to see what denominator should we use according to the question. The question is saying uh, uh, they make no less than 4.9% of total budget income. So total budget income. Uh, we try to come here and see what's the total budget income. So as indicated, we have a total budget income of uh, 52, uh, 52,000. So that's going to be our denominator. And of course, uh, we multiply by and they don't want, over one to convert to a percentage. So if you add uh, there, uh, you try to see what total what you get. So the total that you're going to get uh, in the numerator, you are going to get it as uh, 6,792, and then you divide by, uh, by 52,000. So when you divide by 52,000, uh, you then multiply by, by 100 to convert it to a percentage. So you see that uh, the total, um, uh, the percentage that you get is going to be at 4.984, which you run off to two decimal places, and it becomes at 4.98%. Uh, so I will try to refer to what uh, the question is saying. Spain is, is saying I uh, will make no, uh, not less than at 4.98%. Uh, so which means Alufuna. Is a correct. I remember, I remember uh, the, the answer that we got, we got was 4.984, which is more than 4.98. So, uh, on our conclusion, uh, we are saying uh, Rufuna is a correct. So, basically, that's what we have on that part. So, this is what we have, guys, according to this video. And thank you for listening. And we'll meet again in the next video.